a 16 and a half left. Thanks. But yeah, I don't, I don't know which feet I want. You want cat feet to go with your cat eyes. Ha 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 ha. Uh, okay, everybody, we are we are ready to go. Thank you for your patience. Hmm. Yeah. And what did we do last time? Something, all right. <laughs> we did a fighting. No, we, we searched, did. searched the house. No, we searched the house. Know. Yeah. So last, last time. time you guys explored upstairs, you found uh, was it Bloody Toes? I think that was it in the kitchen. Um, yeah. who just pretty much said oh Bev one is gone I'm out uh, you found our satyr friend um, couldn't help him and said Chip will help uh, you went to Bev one's room uh, found some stuff and then got attacked by the chest and some will-o'-wisps and you left and then Chip and Dex went upstairs and basically solved all the puzzles and saved the day um, yeah hey got all the stuff, got Cat's Eye's stuff back, your uh, lost thing back. You now have a sense of direction. Yeah. And an orb of direction, which only works on the material plane. <laughs> Useless. Um, I believe you guys uh, had found some other goodies. Um, and the, we kind of ended it with saving the satyr. Um, I believe you guys also got Octavian's heart. Yeah. yeah. Um, and came back downstairs and then proceeded to argue about what to do with Bavorna. We, um, we were discussing. Uh, yes. The, the player conversation <laughs> was, was relatively civil. Um, after a little bit of thought about how to go about this, just my personal opinion, what was happening last session was that everybody was stating what they believed to be the best course of action. Um, and a lot of that was player talk, not character talk. Um, at right. least in my opinion. Um, what I think needs to happen is that you guys need to player talk, uh, sorry, you guys need to character talk, uh, talk as your characters, and discuss, compromise, maybe weigh out the benefits or and uh, detriments to each other's plans, and come up with a decision. I'm going to say that all that talk last time took a decent amount of time. Um, whether you guys were actually arguing or not, you know, I'm going to say the characters were relatively civil towards each other. Mm -hmm. But I'm going to say that you guys took a considerable amount of time each talking about what you think would best be done. Longer than it actually took in real life. Um, I'm going to give you guys uh, an amount of time here to um, continue talking. I would encourage you guys to talk in character. Um and maybe try to compromise, have the characters compromise or side with one or the other to figure out what the, your course of action is going to be next. Um, if you guys don't come to a consensus in a decent amount of time, I'm going to progress the story with, uh, with something happening. Um, uh, but with that, I'll leave it up to you guys unless you guys have any questions. I do have one question. Yes, please. Would you consider that length of time a short rest? <laughs> yes, I will absolutely give you guys uh, a short rest if you'd like it. Thank goodness, I have 6 HP. Uh, so, <laughs> just to recap, short rest... Oh, if I have you, 3 HP. Yeah. Um, I should probably put hit die on your guys' charts, because I don't think You guys it took is damage? There. I took a shit ton of damage, yeah. The cube ate me, the Lorna ate me. 
let's say for, and I don't know if we've taken a short rest yet, but let's say you haven't today, because I should put this on your guys' mm -hmm. um, character sheets, and it's not. So you guys have max hit die, which is three. Um, you guys may take a short rest if you'd like to recover HP. You may do so rolling your hit die. Um, what is my hit die? Your hit die is your what you roll when you level up. Okay, so it should be in stats, right? Yes. Uh, oh, shit. Fuck you. Your, uh, it's also the, the your base HP. So your hit die is a D8. Oh, mine's a D8, yeah. Okay. Um, uh, Daldred's is a D10. Um, Yay! Ow. So if you lost HP, you may roll I'm your hit die. How I do hit die um, is you can roll... You don't. I, would, I don't want you to waste hit die. So you don't have to guess how much you're going to need. That's kind of the game of hit die. It's like, okay, I can roll a D8. I've lost, you know, 10 health. If I roll an 8, I'm good. If I roll, like, a 4, I still don't feel good. So I don't know if I'm supposed to roll 1 or 2. Because if I roll 2 and I roll, like, an 8 and a 6, then I've essentially wasted a hit die. Yeah. So you guys may roll until you're out of hit die. So... Roll your first D8. If you want to roll a second after seeing the result, you can roll a second. And then after seeing the second, you may roll a third. Make sense? Yeah. It's uh, three. It is, yeah, you have three, you have up, you have three hit dice to use. Your hit dice is a D8, Jose. Yeah. Does it get replenished after a long rest? That, uh, I believe you get half on a long rest or all back on a long rest? Uh, you get half. I, that's, uh, that's actually a DM call. Um, but I think typically you get half back on that. I, I don't think we're really. I, I. We'll see. Yeah, you'll you can get. You only have three right now, so you can get them all back. When you all have, right. if you're getting to get t the level twenty, maybe you get half back. Who knows? <laughs> uh, was there a question, Daldry? Uh, so I have three hit dice. Correct. Okay. Well, I've used two, and I only got six. Oh, plus, yeah, I guess your con mod, right? Sure. It's excuse me. I believe it's yeah. Your health, your hit die plus con mod. Oh, okay. Then I get two extra points of healing, which is pretty good. So short rest. So oh, I, short I'm feeling, I'm feeling much better. All right, oh, we're good. we're good. <laughs> we're good. For each hit die spent, the player rolls the die and adds the character's con mod to it. And yeah, you regain hit points of that. No, so I get a nine. Very good. Thanks. Yeah, so during during the last, I'm going to say, over an hour, you guys were resting, but also talking about what to do next. Um, and the satyr was... Just standing there nervously, like looking at Bavlona tied up on the floor, looking at you guys, kind of like looking at the door to leave that the alligator is on, moseying over to the left, moseying over to the right, and kind of repeating that process. Oh. He's also wearing a dirty tablecloth. Just yeah. to remind you. We offered him clothes and told him he could leave. She didn't want him. He's like, I'm okay. I got this. It's pretty good. <laughs> um, I think I'll I'll kick off the conversation about about Lorna. Um, so Dee Dee has been doing some reflecting, thinking about what her like, what her oath of the ancients entails, and it's firmly rooted in like protecting the light and doing what's right and making sure people are treated with like kindness and mercy but like definitely protecting that light so i i am so daldred i think is leaning more towards the let's protect the light in any way possible because the other part of the the um oath of the ancients is that it goes Unlike other um, 
paladins, it's like the like it doesn't matter what's lawful necessarily, it matters what's good. So I think the good here in Dee Dee's eyes, now that she's had a chance to like meditate on it, uh it might be uh get rid of the witch. <laughs> Nice. I'm a fisherman and have been alone. So I don't really have a say so anyway, one way or the other. You have a say so, but he doesn't have strong healing. Yeah. Yep. Okay. Because it's like, well, I mean, it's just kind of like, I don't, I don't know. I got my buddy Fred. It's not dead. Do you, do you even know why you're here? Oh my god. <laughs> I, I was just kind of going along with it with my, my fisherman wild. <laughs> I, I'm kind of just, honestly, I, I am just kind of here. <sighs> when reality reflects the myth. <laughs> We all know where Chip Stan. <laughs> yes. Okay, so Cat Sai, let's say you. She stole a guy's heart. Not sorry, she didn't steal a guy's heart. She keeps she took things that don't belong to her and uh, seems a very swindly sort of person. Um I don't That's know. Right. She was gonna eat that guy. Uh, yeah, mm, pro probably, he, probably she was. She was gonna eat you. Oh, yeah, I'm pretty sure. I think... I think... Uh, Daldred, um, I know that, um, uh, uh, it's really Chip's thing to not be able to, uh, you know, keep secrets or anything, but, like, mm -hmm. we killed two of the brigands that we couldn't find, and seeing, like, the rest of their group later, that kind of, that kind of got me thinking that, um, maybe... I don't know. I kind of I, I feel bad about that, now, right? And I feel mm -hmm. like this might be a chance to make amends, but maybe it's. I agree. Um, she is, she's a danger, right? So we need mm -hmm. to figure. We need to, we need to figure out how to save Zybilna, and once, once Lorna tells us or gives us any information to that end, um, then I I don't care what we do with it. I think okay. it's better for everyone else if she's not in the picture anymore. All right. Well, sounds like we're all agreed. Oh. Uh, what? I know, I was just... Oh, okay. <laughs> We've come to a, a conclusion of some sort. Yeah, I think I think we've come to a nice little conclusion. Uh, and oh, my laminating thing's going off center. It's okay. Um, as as someone uh, would say, uh, how do you want to do this? <laughs> <laughs> I'll do it. We want to we want well, to interrogate her. We want to know what she knows about Slybilna. So and her coven first, and and then we can take her out, and then Chip, she is all yours. Yes. Is that is that okay? Yeah. Yeah. Seems bueno. You're gonna let the Sorry. little guy beat her to death with his bare hands. <laughs> <laughs> it's, it's, I mean, it's just okay, hands. Chip, would you like to borrow my axe? No, I'll beat her to death with my bunny hands. 
<laughs> um, Mr. Uh, Fansoul, do you have anything you want to say to her? Or do you want to hide when she wakes up so she doesn't see you? Uh, yeah, I'll go. Uh, just, uh, I'll just go out here. Let me know when you're ready. He goes out here. Okay. Well, yeah, let me. I'm pretty sure that I don't know where how to leave. Uh, I'll be <laughs> out here. Uh, okay. When you guys are ready. All right. So Team I. Yeah. Plan. When we awaken her, what are the things we're going to ask? Um. How did your coven imprison Zydoma? Okay. <laughs> Taldra takes out a notepad and a pencil. <laughs> All right. Uh, you know, I'd be I'd be willing to let her live if she gave us some information, but I'm not gonna toss around. Here's the thing, Dex. I would too, but she doesn't seem like the person to live and let live. Yep. <laughs> we could ask her. What was your question again? How did your coven imprison Zybilma? Okay. Yeah. Your coven imprisoned. Good one. Um, anybody else have any pressing questions for information? Also, I want. I kind of want to know more about her little shadow friend because that was creepy, and she was kind of unexpected. Oh, what was her name? Charm. Charm. Um, yeah. Who is Charm? Uh, and what does she? Do you remember what? Stand for. You guys know what Charm was. Do you guys remember what Charm was? Uh, uh, she traditional mm, witch wearing all black she, does not have the shadow. She she's a darkling. Like a witch. She is a darkling. That's correct. Uh, you guys okay. also met darklings at the yeah. shop ran by Trinket and Bobble, and the ah. name of the shop was Charm Trinket and Bobbles or something like that. Oh, oh shit! Okay. Oh. Oh, okay. I didn't know there was a connection there. Yep. And that uh, here we are. I'm gonna confirm. Um. Well, that's good info. Well, we can yes. still the, we can the, still ask the question. The name of the shop was Trinket Bobble and Charms. Um, it might not have been posted Ooh. anywhere, but that was the name of the shop. Yes. Um. So there you go. There's a there's just you guys would know that Charm was a Darkling, and you guys okay. did meet other Darklings, and they yes. did mention Charm by name. I'm pretty sure. Oh, okay. They're like, we're just here waiting for Charm to come back. Do you guys want anything? Oh, okay. Pretty sure I made some bullshit like that up. Maybe I yeah. maybe I didn't. Well, you guys know now. <laughs> we know now exactly. We sure do. Um. Because uh, the only reason why I was thinking about getting uh, questions together is because, um, <laughs> so I, I posed the question to Zach. I was like, well, if there's passive wisdom and passive, like, perception, um, D, <laughs> if anybody knows, D, uh, intimidation is really high. It's like <laughs> plus five. So, like... <laughs> Do I have passing intimidation? What does that look like? And does it mean I have resting bitch face? Like, <laughs> <laughs> so I was, so if, uh, but since I am good at intimidation and this is like a lot of questioning, I don't mind like taking lead on it. So, oh, absolutely. Yeah. <laughs> um, but any other. Um, all right, that's a donor. Um, um, do we see if she knows about the mirror ball? Like, what are our hanging friends still? She might know about the kid, about Durla's kid. Oh, yeah. 
uh, who has that? Because we could just show it and we can say, like, do you know what this is? The ball. Um, the mirror ball. Yeah. I do not have it. I have it. Uh, yeah, we can ask, do you know what this is? Uh, mirror ball. I have it. That was... Sterla's kid. Yeah. Cool. Um, anything else? Name was Star. Star. Perfect. Any? Um. Wait, okay, sorry, we know, sorry, we know how they imprisoned Zybilha. I'm just, I'm, this is Nancy passing, going through notes. Um, mm -hmm. When we were, t Sir Talavar told us um, that, uh, that, Eaglewith's cauldron froze time for Zybilna. That the Hourglass Coven used Eaglewith's cauldron to freeze time. Hmm. Um, There's a cauldron nearby. Yeah, but that had the the mag, the, the, the lava boy in it. I yeah. don't think that's a plus it, it was it had a polymorph potion in it. Yeah. The lava okay. boy was in the coals because he was the coal tender. Yes, that's right. Coal tender. Okay. Um. So maybe where is Iggywood's Ig 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 the bit? Where's Iggy's cauldron? <laughs> <laughs> uh, it's Ig Wilves. I G G, uh, yeah, I G G, W I L V, Igwilds. W I I G G W I L. Nothing else, you guys. You know how to spell it. <laughs> um. I mean, I had it. I did have a question, and now I forgot it. It's okay. That's you. Um, maybe we ask her where her sisters are. Yeah. Yeah. I misspelled it. So it says sisters. <laughs> um <laughs> okay we're your sisters um what else i mean wait did, did we find the heart did we find uh octavian's heart yes okay cool um i think, I think or... Maybe what was in the shattered glass, or do we think that was like in in the bedroom? Right, there was the uh, there was there were the winged big things, the taxidermy things. The I'm forgetting. Like on the second floor, right next to the staircase, past the mirror room, uh, there was that moldy bedroom. Oh yeah. And, like, yeah. And it had, like, there used to be something there. Yeah, there were, like, four things, and then one of them was, like, smashed. All right. And that's not her bedroom. It's probably, like, the guest bedroom. <laughs> probably. What was in the smashed glass case in your guest bedroom? 
That's a question. <laughs> Spelling things. Um, I had, I, oh, um, our, our other goals that we have are finding the reverse centaur and finding the alicorn. Did we want to ask them? Do we want to ask her about that too? Oh, yeah. yeah. Okay. Where is the reverse centaur? What the <laughs> slaps? Where is it? <laughs> All right. Have, ooh, okay. Have you seen a reverse centaur? Ooh, centaur. Where? And uh, same with alicorn. Excuse me. Um, all right. So a question so far. Um, Dee Dee um, flips through her notebook. How did your coven imprison Zybilna? Who is Charm? What does she stand for? Do you know what this is? And then uh, Chip, be ready with the mirror ball. <laughs> Where is Igle, Igle, Vit, Ig, Will, <laughs> Help, Fly? <laughs> oh. <laughs> no? Nobody? Egg Wills Cauldron. <laughs> Where are your sisters? <laughs> um, and what is what was in the smashed glass case in your guest bedroom? Uh, have you seen a reverse centaur? Where? And same with the alicorn. All right, last couple questions. What, what's what's the alicorn thing? I don't even. I don't know. All oh, I have a... in my notes is that it, an overall goal is to quote find the alicorn. I have no idea what you're talking about. Someone <laughs> whispered. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I know. I I vaguely know what you're talking about. I mean, I'm scouring notes for this. I don't remember. If someone can tell me when it happened, I'll look in the book because I have no idea. Also, don't have an idea. Uh, last that? words from Mr. Light. Yes, that. Uh, mind the rule of three, future, present, past, find the alicorn, and free the dormant queen at last. Yes. I know things. I have that in my notes as well. Yeah, he definitely said that. Yep. <laughs> All right. Zach, I just read the questions. Are you ready as Bev Lorna for our question? Fuck no. Uh, are you waking Bev Lorna up? Yes. Are we ready, team? I am. Yeah. Yep. All right. Uh, before uh, anybody wakes up Bev Lorna, I would like to stand front and center, right in front of her, with my arms crossed, and my best retching, my best resting bitch face I can muster. <laughs> I, 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 okay, so I appreciate your passive intimidation. Uh, Thank you. But I will make, but if you're trying to intimidate her into doing what you say, which in this case would be like giving you the information you want, you're still gonna have to roll for it. Okay. I, we could we could save the role for later, but oh, I mean, uh, I I'll, mean I'll give you. I mean, you have her tied up, and you're very intimidating as it is. So, like, I won't take that for granted. Okay. Thank you. Uh, you're waking her up. Yes. Okay. So, um, you guys just have her tied up with rope or whatever. Yes. Is mm -hmm. this where you want her? Like, yeah. Is like her this. lily pad? Her lily pad is like back in the pool, right? Her lily pad is technically it'd probably be like where Chip was, where Chip is. Ah. I don't think you guys moved it. Um, I don't uh, have like a token for it, so. Okay. Well, I mean, we can. You, we you can guys could have move moved it. it back to the pool. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Um, um, we use it. Maybe I am so we... glad you asked because I really want you guys to. Uh, yeah, <laughs> I will take that as any. Yeah. Op I will take any opportunity. The Vorna's lily pad is a magic item. Yay! That requires attunement, so you guys may oh. take it with you. Nice. Before we get into 
role playing by Born, I, I will tell you about the lily packs. I'm very excited. <laughs> <laughs> This is some, this is also something you guys could have done, you know, while waiting for Bevorn to wake up and talking and all that stuff. Um, bobbing lily pad, bobbing lily pad. <clears throat> it is a magical vehicle that requires attunement. This magical vehicle is a ten foot diameter leaf that floats on water. It has tendrils that propel it across the land and across the water surface, but not underwater, as well as through, through the air. It has a walking, flying, and swimming speed of 20 feet, and it can hover, and it can hover. It moves according to your spoken directions while you are riding it. The lily pad can transport up to 300 pounds without hindrance. It can carry up to twice this weight, but it moves at half speed if it carries more than its normal capacity. There you go. It is a, it's just a magic vehicle. You may take it if you like. Woo! Mm -hmm. Wait, how much does it weigh? I don't have that. It is not something you would, I guess, because you need to attune to it, it's not something you would have to, yeah, it's a vehicle, so like you wouldn't put it in your pocket, you know what I mean? Mm. It carries us now. No, I mean, but, I know, but I mean, like, we had to carry our own raft, you know? So I was like, That's how long does attunement take? Uh, a short rest. So whoever wants to attune to it could have attuned to it during that short rest. Right. And you will not have to carry it out of here. It, it, okay. it, it, uh, it responds to your commands while you're riding it so if if dex attuned to it he can just ride it out of here yeah. nice. the, yeah. the pioneers used to ride these babies for miles <laughs> <laughs> um so who would like to have attuned to the bobbing lily pad probably not cat's eye or daldred because we were like more involved in the discussion. Yeah, I feel like, yeah, I was gonna say, I feel like Dex is like a natural person, since yeah. he's already very attuned to water things. Yeah. yeah. Dex, you have a boat. So, <laughs> it does have a carrying capacity of 300 pounds. Okay, how much do we all weigh? That's a good question. I'm gonna say, so, I'm gonna just let, I'll, I'll let you guys ride it please. as a magic carpet. Okay. Um, for now, at least. Mm -hmm. I think you guys probably weigh more than 300 pounds combined. For yeah, sure, right? Well, that that yeah. and our equipment, whatever's in our backpacks. Yeah. So it can, yeah. so it can carry all of you at, at half speed for sure. Um, but f to go at full speed, it's a, it's a, probably a one person boat. That makes sense. Makes and even yeah. at full speed, it's not as fast as you walking. Mm -hmm. So it's more of just a fun thing to have rather than a practical, like, thing to use in combat. Though you can fly with it, so there's that. That's yeah, pretty useful. Um, okay, so Dex has the bobbing lily pad. Yeah. Um. I guess get ready to punch. I'm always ready to punch. Oh, you right, you right. Um, so you wake her up. I would say, like, while she's waking up, she's, um, she's dazed and confused. Mm -hmm. And as she regains consciousness and kind of takes in the situation, she 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 sees you all standing around her. Um, she notices she's tied up. And uh, uh, a bevy of emotions go through her face. You see fear, you see anger, you see um, uh, like thinking about what she's going to do next. Uh, and she uh, and she's waiting for you guys to make the first move. So 
Sorry, I'm chewing. <laughs> <laughs> I got snacky. Um. <laughs> yeah. The, nice passive intimidation with your snacky. Hey. <laughs> I'm sorry. Cam, I'm sorry. I'm sorry. Cam has I'm sorry. no passive intimidation, <laughs> but Dee Dee does. <laughs> All right. Um. Uh. So, Dee Dee will take like one step towards her blank face no emotion how did your coven in prison zybilna uh, i mm, 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 uh, let me go and i'll, uh, I'll tell you what you want to know how did your coven in prison zybilna You see, she starts to uh, get more scared. Just, 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 just untie me, you know. I'll, I'll tell you whatever you want to know. She starts to like struggle more. How did your covenant in prison, Zybilna? Um, she screams as loud as she can. Uh, Let me go! She starts to bite at the ropes. How did your covenant in prison stop in, though? At this point, she has a mouthful of ropes, and they're starting to break. The rope is starting to be cut. Mm. The rope is a third of the way cut. All right, who wants to do what? Should I punch I her? I, I say punch her. All right, I punch her. She's at effective one HP. Uh, I'll say you automatically hit. She's, she would be rolling death saves. I'm gonna say at this point she's just gonna die unless you guys try to stabilize her again. I have a do good berry. Want, yeah, do we want to give her a good berry and just do it again? Yeah, I'll. I will reach over and put a good berry in her mouth. All right. Well, I think this is time for a discussion, everyone. She has the will to not continue. I do not believe... Sorry, Jose. Um, the Goodberry gives her 1 HP, which yes. which will restore her to consciousness. Yes. Otherwise, she'll die in 15 seconds. You guys do not have a lot of time for discussion here. It's yep. uh, it's talk or Goodberry. You can oh, Goodberry and then talk, but she's going to she's gonna be unconscious. A Goodberry and then talk. Yep. Yeah. Uh, Marking off a Goodberry. Okay, as you forcibly bring her back to life um she regains consciousness and uh given that her restraints are at this point compromised she is just going to continue to struggle um to get Mama, out of her restraints you need to listen and answer our questions uh she gets an arm out of the restraints and uh she um, she makes the move to do something with that arm. Uh, un uh, Daldred, untie her. Let her, let her go and let her answer our questions. Uh, before uh, you can do anything, she's gonna summon a Lornling. I knew it. <gasps> Wait, do, do, okay, she doesn't have her staff. Uh. Because we took that away. Yeah, uh. There's nothing in the book about the staff at all, so oh, bitch. Um, I'm not gonna say that it's important. <laughs> okay, that's um, fine. And her summon ability is not a spell, so yeah. Okay, that's fine. Mm. Uh, so with her hand, uh, she reaches into her cloak and pulls out a lornling. Uh, uh, she. How did we miss it? What's up? Oh. How did we miss the whirling in the pocket? She creates them. Oh, okay, that's a different um, story. <laughs> it does not say how she creates them, so um, I'm going to keep how I think she does it to myself for now. Cool. Um, so we're kind of in combat right now. Mm -hmm. we're, we're relatively in initiative. So mm -hmm. um, Bavlorna has summoned a Lornling. Um, and she's going to give the Lornling the order the order to attack you all. Um, the Lornling is now going to start attacking. 
Um, Bavlorna also has something that she's going to do next. But I will give you all the opportunity to uh, do things now. Um, I'm just going to roll for the Lornling to see how fast it's going to act. Um, do we, we roll initiative? Have, um, we don't have to, but we can. Um, I will say the Lornling rolled low, so I'll let most of you guys go first. Um, Bavlorna already had her turn, so she will go basically after everybody has had a turn to go. Mm -hmm. um, I mean, I'll just punch her again. You're okay? Does is, is anybody else have anything else to do first? Uh, can I first feed her some polymorph potion? No, they have to consent for a member. Yeah. I don't believe so. she ha he has a potion yeah this isn't, okay. this isn't a spell it's a potion okay that's full liquid it's a potion of polymorph right yeah um, i still have five uh five rounds of it. five uses of it yeah um i don't see why you couldn't it would take your whole turn yep. um You guys don't have a lot of time for discussion, uh, and if you all, all want to do different things, you 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 may. Um, but I'm just gonna have you roll to see which one of you gets to do the thing first. So Chip Excellent. wants to punch. Uh, Dex wants to turn her into a frog or a dra uh, into a frog, or uh, there might be something else. I forget. I think. Yeah, uh, I'm gonna attack the Lornling because that little fucker did me in last time. You're going to attack the Lonely. Doldra, do you want to do something? Um. Uh. Yeah. I, I want a two handed battle at the Lonely. Okay. So just just roll off for me, guys. Just, roll, just straight roll off. Just roll a d20 for me. Whoever goes first goes first. Oh. Well, that's a nat one for you, boy. A twenty. Wow. <coughs> Sounds like Dolger's going first. <laughs> uh, Dex and Chip. I got That's a seven because... plus four. No, no plus. Like... Just a straight roll off. Oh, okay. Um, Just a seven. Uh, I got seventeen. Okay, so Dolger, you can battle axe the lonely first. Okay, that's funny, because my first instinct was not actually battle axe the Lordling, but um, battle axe her head off, but we can go with the Lordling, because I said it, because that's what I said. Uh, oh, okay. I think that's appropriate. What? I think that's fair. You said it. Mm -hmm. you, you took your finger off the chest piece. Exactly. I did take my finger off the chest piece. Okay, Does so you want me to... Advantage, because with Chip, she's flanking? Sure, why not? Cool. Um, um, so roll to hit? Uh, yes, roll to hit. Twice? Yes. Or is a 19 enough? A 19 is enough. You can roll cool. to CB crit. Okay. Crit. Crit, crit, crit. Ah, I got a 20. That's oh. a crit. <laughs> I, got, I, didn't, I didn't get like a nat 20, I got a 17, oh. but like oh, the result yeah. was a 20. Gotcha, dirty 20. So yes, you hit. Yeah. Okay, dang. Um, so damage. Uh, yes. Damage. Boop. Six. Okay, the Lonling is looking sad. Very sad. Very, very sad. <laughs> he looks I'm very sad. hurting. Uh, Chip rolled a seven. Dex, you rolled first. Um, I'm gonna make you contested athletics check her. Athletics, though? Yes, oh. you are trying to mm -hmm. hold her down and mm -hmm. force feed a potion. That yeah. is the yeah. only thing I can see that it applies. Can't be like history? It would not be history, my friend. <laughs> oh. oh shit, I got four. Oh, no. I, will, I will have her roll at disadvantage. I think that's fair. Uh, she rolled a 19 and a 16. Sorry, bud. 
Uh, as you try to force feed her the potion, she is wiggling and waggling like a wiggle waggle little worm. And uh, I can't she... believe it wasn't an insight check. Had... Sorry. You could have done that before, but not at the moment. Um, she she will not drink your potion. I'll let you not spill it on the floor, but she does not uh, get yeah, your potion. Fair. Um, Chip, you are up. You're going to punch the hag. Yeah. Um, if it's a crit, she dies instantly. You can... I mean, that's what I said. Should I metagame and change it now? Uh, oh, you can, uh... Kind of finger off the chess piece at the moment. Yeah, yeah. that's what I'm thinking. Um, but I'm open to... I'm open if you really want to change what you want to do. No, I think Chip would just do her a punching, because that's what he said he was going to do if anything happened. Right. Um, roll to hit with advantage. Alright, that is a... Um, 12 plus 6. That hits? Yes, that hits. You do... You... Uh, you knock her unconscious again. And she's currently dying. Very good. Oh, uh, sorry. Um, I will, I will say she's currently dying now, because we took our fingers off the piece. Um, mm -hmm. but you can do non-lethal damage with melee attacks. No, I was intending to be lethal, don't yeah, worry. I know you were, <laughs> but just to remind the group. All right, so if I hit her and say it's non-lethal, then she'll not be dying, right? That's how this if works. It's a melee attack. <laughs> <laughs> um, is the lornling? The lornling is, is it... not gone. Okay. Well, yeah, then I'm gonna try to stab that little fucker. Yep. Yeah, you get it. Go for it. And gonna have to be used in Talavars because it's melee. That's another nat one. And I'll use two weapon fighting for just a regular dagger attack. That is a 22 to hit. Uh, that hits. Roll damage. Okay. Wait, uh, can you roll less than it? Can you deal let can you deal one damage? <laughs> I mean, it's also Dreadful Strike, so it's 1d4 plus 1d6. You kill it. 4 plus 7. Yeah. It has 2 HP. Cool. You drop the Lornling, and it it, it shrivels up uh, into what looks like a dried up dead. It, 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 she's very frog like, and these are smaller versions of her. So mm -hmm. as you drop its hit points to zero, the magic that created it uh, leaves its body. Um, it kind of shrivels up and dies, but it's not, uh, it's still made of material components, so. Kind of mm -hmm. looks like a dried up dead frog. Ugh. Uh, laying right in front of you. Um, okay, that's, um, that would bring us to Favorna's turn. Yeah. And on Favorna's turn, she rolled a nat 20. Nice. Uh, is she conscious again? So, um,. <laughs> What happens when you roll that to Do you get your turn still? Um, I think it's at the end of your turn, but let me... Oh, damn, because she, she would want... She, if it was at the end of her turn, I think she'd just want to die. <laughs> um, death when you No, whenever you start your turn. Death it's at the start of your is. turn. She gets her turn back. Where is this? Is this under saving throws? Uh, basic rules. Yeah, death saving throws. It's whenever you start your turn, zero hit points. You have to make a special saving throw. Basic rolls. Uh, I can't um, find it. Reference saving throws, maybe? Uh, Reddit says yeah. if you do a nat 20 on your death saving throw, you um, have one hit point and you get your full turn. Okay. Yeah. That's, she gets her full that's what, turn. That's what Reddit says. Reddit is something, all right. <laughs> <laughs> this time, Reddit's not wrong. Okay. But they all said the same thing, so. But is going to use the disengage action and 
Jump into the pool. <sighs> uh, where would you like the bobbing lily pad to be? Where do you think is fair for you to have left the bobbing lily pad, Dex? Um, left corner. You would have left um, it in the... It does not have to exist in the pool. That's true, but I don't think we would have moved it. You know mm -hmm. what I'm saying? I just assumed during the long rest, like, everybody was arguing, and you were just like, I'm going to go sit on that thing. <laughs> okay, um, so you left it. She's running away. Does she get half her movement because she was prone? She um, was. So my interpretation is she's still tied up. Okay. Uh, and she just rolled oh my God. into the water where she has uh -huh. a swim, where she's amphibious and has a swimming speed. Fish. Um, that, that, <sighs> I believe that's fair. Okay. Yeah. yeah. That's fine. She's, uh, she's not stood up yet. <laughs> Let's put it that way. Uh, okay. Yeah. She, she her turn is done. Um, it's, it's you guys again. Uh, I will say same order, so Doldred, then Dex, then Chip, then the Lornling Witch is dead, then Cat's Eye. Right. Yeah. How much movement do I have? This. She made this a lot more difficult than I thought it was going to be. Mm -hmm. uh, but that's a drop down. If I jump over the wall... Uh, you can have your full movement. I think that's fair. You're, it's just like okay. a little five foot, it's maybe even jump. two and a half foot drop. Okay, cool. Five, 10, 15, 20, 25. I can get up to her. Um, I'm going to jump over the wall. Okay. Um, all right. I'm moving here. And let me see if I can turn this a little bit. So there we go. Um, and two-handed great axe. Uh, hold on, wait. Um, is hmm hmm. What's up, Queen? <laughs> uh, I'm thinking about a cantrip I have. Smile, smile till the dead. <laughs> but um, I think I'm I'm just gonna do two handed battle axe thing. Um, what? I want to look at. Give me a second. Oh, okay. Thunderous. Sorry. She she has okay. one HP. If you hit her, she, no matter what, she will die. Yeah, don't okay. waste spells on her. Thunderous Smite, okay. you have to hit with an attack, which you would already do damage. So. Okay. Well, battle, battle axe, two handed. Uh, so you would have you would have advantage because she's tied up, but you would have disadvantage because she's underwater. So you have regular. Okay. Does a 17 hit? Yes. You, cool. She's now dying in the water. Alright. He bag her. <laughs> uh, the rest of you All have right. six seconds to do stuff. Is there anything you want to do? Can I Before can I, I roll another turn, natural 20? I'm just going to turn to everybody and go, to, do we need answers? Not uh, at the cost of her getting away. Ooh. I rolled an actual one. Oh, she's oh. dead regardless. She's dead regardless. Oh, she, that's two fails. That's two fails. Yeah, she so she has one more. Um, um, uh, can, does, does anybody mind if I just like chop her head off? Do, Do it. it. Okay. <sighs> Do the chair. I'll tell, I'll tell the cat's eye, don't look. Uh, and I, may I, may I, oh, oh God above? I just walk outside and like, so about this weather. <laughs> mm -hmm. 
I, I don't control what Daldra does, you do. Alright, I drop off her head. It comes off. Cool. Her All pool, right. uh, the pool that, it's uh, almost, it's almost um, poetic. The, the place she wanted to be most, that she would oh. refuse to talk to you guys unless you fixed, um, is now stained, uh, stained some color with her, with her hag's blood. Uh, Ooh, sun color. That sounds terrible. I think I think in an earlier episode I said it might have been black. Mm -hmm. Ugh. Um, Gross. Uh, as the pool fills with her her blood that's more like ooze than like water. Uh, uh, Bavlorna Blightstraw, I believe that's correct, uh, mm -hmm. has been defeated, defeated. Uh, we you, solved the puzzle. You killed a hag, is what you did. Congratulations, everybody. Uh, and Daldred, you uh, are back to lawful good. Oh. oh! Yay me! You you did what you should do. You protected the light and all that fun stuff. Yay! Good job, Paladin. You... Do the ancient gods smile upon me? <laughs> As yeah. I look into the mirror, do I see a face come? Do I see a face? Oh, <laughs> you, oh you look into the mirror? No, oh. no, no, I I'm don't just, look into I'm the just, mirror. <laughs> no. I'm just, I'm just trolling. I'm just trolling. <laughs> Ooh, I know where you live, sir. <laughs> Take her head. That'd be Take funny, though. It's like, oh, you look in the mirror? Uh... <laughs> Yeah, you're you're good. You you did okay. you did what you were you did a paladin. You protected the light or whatever. I did a paladin. Um, I, I'm not gonna pick up her head. I will. It is gonna stay there. <laughs> I'll take it. Can I take her head? I I'm don't not tell. I don't you. tell what Chip. I don't tell Chip what to do. Three, four, three, three. Chip takes the head. It's gross. How much does it weigh? I'll add it to my inventory. Oh my god. Uh, yeah. Um, I don't know. What does a normal human head weigh? Probably like... Five pounds. Five, ten yeah, pounds. Yeah, that's what I was gonna say. Eleven pounds. Oh. oh. Really? That's it doesn't feel that way. In there. How do you spell her name? Uh, B-A-V... L O R N A. Bav Lorna. Bav Lorna. 11 pounds. <laughs> you know what Chip should do and would be really Eat funny? It. Eat no, it. I was going to say take it to oh. the Bullywogs yes. and like, and say, I'm your king now. <laughs> That's yes. what I was actually thinking. <laughs> I will rule you from afar. I will appoint an emissary. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I'm your god now. <laughs> oh, Lance, I have a question. Oh, what happened? <laughs> Hello? Oh, that's not. Hello, Hydrobot. Long time no see. Oh, uh, yeah. Uh, question? Uh, did our spells get reset? No. Nah. No. I think when you guys leveled to three, I prob I think I gave you spells again, but not the not like on the short rest or anything. Okay, because I was wondering because all I have. Oh no, no, no that makes sense. Seriously. Not since the battle with Bavlor, no, no. Yeah, yeah, yeah. All right, all right. What do we do now, y'all? Uh, we did that. Go. It yeah, let's go. Yeah, let's. Let's just go. Let's, yeah, let's peace out. We should tell the silly man, the silly naked man. Hey, we did it. We can go now. Yeah. I'll peek my head back in. Uh, you guys good? I hold up the head and give a thumbs up. All right, we're gonna not want to show that to um Mr. Bansel because he's been through a lot. 
Um, I'll make it feel better. All right, ah. I'll, I'll put it in my bag. Okay. <laughs> I was going to say you guys could just go down first. That'd be fine. I'm going to take the long way out. Uh, uh, Mr. Vansel, um, I think we're all ready to go. Why is there green on my map? I think that's Jose's lily, lily pad. Yeah, I'm making a lily pad. Only. It looks like a butt crack. Can you undo <laughs> that? Because it's on top of things. There you go. Thank you. Can we just get you a PNG of a lily pad instead? Alright. Uh huh. I don't have one, but we'll get you one. I got you, I got you. Let's see. Um, are you guys gonna go down now? Because we can just move to that map. Yeah. yeah. Okay. Yeah. Uh, you guys can, can go back to the downfall map? Yes, downfall. Downfall. But that map, oh god, that map has so many frogs on it. <laughs> <laughs> Let me get rid of some frogs. Oh yeah, that's a lot. Oh yeah, we left during the party. Or after the party? After, I think. Yeah. A little after-ish. Mm -hmm. We saw stuff go down. Yeah. Yeah, we did. Yeah, we've seen some shit. <laughs> Oh, there's tokens on this map. Mm -hmm. okay, I think that's enough. Uh, so if you got so yes, um, after chopping off that boy in his head, you guys gather your belongings and treasures and what have you, um, and you make your way back down the steps. Fancil follows you. Uh, I need his token. Uh, I'll get it from wherever. Super. Huh. Uh, Beldred is gonna ask Vanzel a question. Oh, uh, yes, hello. Where are you from? Um, around here. Prismere. <laughs> Mm, what part of Pismir are you from? Because this is Downfall. Are you from Downfall, or are you from somewhere else? Well, I'm from Prismir when Prismir was just Prismir. I guess they called this, these swamps Hither, but I roamed around all of Prismir at a time. Hmm. Would you be able to be a guide for us? Oh, uh... Unfortunately, since the split, I've been stuck in the swamps here in Hither. I don't know how to uh, traverse to the other Well, we found the places. head, so we yeah. can get that guy to be the guide. Then so you can okay. come with us to the other, um, out of the swamp. Yeah, that, that was going to be my next question, sir. Where would you like to be? Oh, well, I, I've made a little place for myself here, as long as the, uh, Harrigan brigands don't bring me back here, I'll, I'll, I'll stay. No need to bother you folks. Okay, if, if that's what you want, um, if they do bother you, um... Kill them. No. No, no. <laughs> um... Tell them that you know us. And that we'll come looking for you. What what should I call you all? Mm, fuck about uh, the team um, name. We need a team name, know. everyone. Uh uh. Well you you could just say that the the team with the chicken and the purple dragon. Yeah, you know, that's probably, I mean, that's probably most descriptive. Be being descriptive is probably better. Rolls right I'm off in... the tongue. <laughs> we, we don't technically have a name. If we run into a bard, we will ask. 
Oh, damn, we did run into a board. Mm. <laughs> well, back then we didn't need a name. We'll think on it. Oh. Um, yeah, we'll think on it. Dee Dee yeah. turns to Chip. Chip, start thinking of a name. You are the most creative as you want to be a witch like Carnival Hand. They have uh, to be creative, don't they? Witch like King and Company. Oh my god. <laughs> Why? Dee Dee considers it seriously. <laughs> you know what? What's the place that we were from? Uh, green, oh. green, green uh, fair. Yes. Uh, um, fair. What about the misfits of Green Fair? The Green Fair Seekers? Because we're looking for things that have been lost. That's oh. true, but no one would know that. This is true? Except the people we've kind of killed. <laughs> you have not kind of killed anybody. You have, <laughs> you have very <laughs> killed many. <laughs> uh, I, I like the Green... We're green Fair Seekers? Yeah. I mean, Green Fair Seekers. We're looking yeah, for things. Yeah, that sounds good. Yes. Green Fair Seekers. Um, Sater, Sir, uh, Nazel, if you do say that you know us, then, then describe us. Give, a, give also that name. So that it might be known that that is who we are. To spread the word. Got it. I'm on it. Thank you. <laughs> Break the word of the Green Fair Seekers. Uh -huh. You are our emissary now. There's a space galleon? Oh my god. Uh, yeah, it came out like Tuesday. Don't worry about it. Uh, you guys, um, I don't think you're going to get much done just sitting on the dock of Bavlorna's house. Where would you guys Not like you? to go? Um, I mean, does anybody oh, have any other business? Oh, wait, we have to go to the people and give their Yeah, we their, have to give the uh, give head to the back. guy. Yeah. yeah. Uh, no, do you want to do I... Octavian first, or...? Yeah, yeah that'd be great. Alright. Let's go to Octavian. So, Octavian is, like, in the bottom right-hand corner of the map. So yeah. you could dock at the dock, or you could dock at... Would not dock, you could run aground... Uh, by the watchtower. Those are kind are you guys of. On a different map. Is yes, we are. I told you guys, or I told you guys, to go back to the downfall map. Oh, okay. Is Zach okay. is like over here. Uh, remember, I can't see your mouse. Yeah, he would need a red uh, circle. Uh, sure, you can run aground there if you'd like. Okay. So that we don't fight the tree again. That yeah, was the idea. idea. The tree's right there. Yeah, that's smart. The tree's closer than if you were to talk at the dock. That's okay. Alright. Cool. You guys Come are on there. Vivian. Just move your tokens. Oh. Uh, oh my gosh. What happens to all the frogs? I'm gonna move Fred. What? Do you, do do you know where to go? Are, are you at the right place, Jose? Yeah. There all we right. go. Um, uh, Cat's eye, before you, you got uh, since when you guys run aground, um, mm -hmm. Vance will step off and and uh, kind of look and see that there there is an exit. He can run kind of into the swamp, the foresty swamp, down to the right. Um, he will uh, turn to you all and thank you profusely from the bottom of his heart for saving his life. Um, uh, but he's had enough adventure for today. He is getting the hell out of here. Um, he's uh, saying goodbye and thank you. Yep. Bye, yeah. Hi, Vanzel. Goodbye. Oh, um. To reciprocate your help, uh, here. He um, finds a stick on the ground and whispers a few words to it. Um, and it blooms a flower. He hmm. hands it to Cat's Eye. Since Aww. one, Cat's Eye is there, and two, Cat's Eye probably was the homiest of homies. <laughs> they, were, they were chatting out on the outside. Yeah. yeah. Um, uh, 
Uh, he gives yeah, you that as he leaves. Um, so, Katai, that is uh, equivalent to a stone of good luck. Aww. Which gives you plus one on all your ability checks, I believe. Oh. Um, the caveat is uh, you gain a plus one bonus to ability checks and saving throws while that is on your person. Okay. Um, but it will only last as long as the flower is blooming, which is 24 hours. Aww. Let's go get in a big fight, guys. <laughs> <laughs> Um, oh, okay, thank you for letting me tie that one up. So I can get that token off the field. Um, you guys are going to see Octavian. Is there anything else you guys wanted to do before that? Uh, uh, Octavian first, I'm cool. The tree will not bug you guys. That's cool. what I figured. Yeah. Here's Octavian music. As you arrive... You hear his sad boy song. Uh, as you approach, again, the song gets louder, and you see your sad boy over here being sad. Oh, he's hey, sad. sad boy. Oh, Come hello, here. I'm sad. Come Octavian. here, sad boy. Octavian. Oh, my uh, acquaintances. You've returned. Soldier just stays back. She can't stand this guy. Oh. <laughs> uh, I really like your music, um, and I think you'll like uh, what we have for you. Huh? Cat's Eye does not have the heart. I do. I have it? Oh, I do. Oh, okay. Go oh, yeah, the cheesecloth. Had it because I got it. Uh, yeah. All right, so uh, I got this thing. Not entirely sure what to do with it, so I'm gonna hand it off to you. Uh, hand off his his heart. Um, you give him like his heart. Actual heart. Yeah, it was beating. Oh yeah. yeah. Yeah, so, yep, just handing it to him. I don't know what's supposed to happen. Uh, Eldritch so... says, if you need help with in with reinsertion, I can oh. punch real good. <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> um, so seeing it, he, uh, he, he reaches out and holds it. Oh, thank you. I appreciate this. He kind of holds it in his hand and holds it to his chest. I don't know how to get it back in. I think you have to eat it. I mean, uh, we can cut you open and put it in there. Um, do you guys have anything that can end a curse? I don't know. Curse. Death? Mm. Can I make an arcana check? That won't end a curse. No, to see if I have any. <laughs> end a curse? No, I mean, I'm talking, do you have, like, yeah. dispel, like, like, remove curse? Remove no. curse or something like that? That's like a third level spell anyway, so, no. Um, no. I have ice knife. Ice I have a candle that can't be lit. I also, I think, I still have that Lorna's book. Let's do this. Um, Show me. Octavian will say, will let you know that it is very important that he has his heart, that the heart is back in his possession, as the curse definitely could not be ended without it. But it seems that that's not enough to lift the curse. Um, he believes maybe one of the bullywugs has um, 
may have some ability to end the curse. Um, Come with us. If you, yeah, if you wouldn't mind giving him a ride. Oh, absolutely. Yeah. Let's go. <laughs> uh, you guys can just move your tokens. We're going. Uh, he says um, he believes he knows a bullywog that has some magic. Uh, he should be at the palace. Well, things uh, have guys... changed a lot in the last 48 to 24 hours. Hopefully he's still there. Um, you guys going back to the palace with the, our guy? Yeah. yeah. Um, would you guys move tokens over to the palace for me? Yeah. Southern docks like normal? Yep. Sure. Yeah. I will also move the rat. Uh, as you arrive on the docks, uh, a familiar guard greets you. One that you that served under King Gullop. What's up, guard? Boy? Me? <laughs> oh, yes, the Green Fair Seekers. <laughs> oh, that's us. You know of the Green Fair. Ah, yes. Uh, true friends of King. <clears throat> um. Was this guy's new name? Illig. King, King Illig, sir. Yes, true friends of King Illig the First. Um, I will let you know you. I will let him know you are here. And he goes, and Illig comes out. <laughs> I gotta find his voice again. Hold on. Just say, My friends. My friends. You have come. Yeah. As was expected, I am now the king. Of course, we were here. Don't you remember? Well, you guys left before, like... She was crowned? Before it finished, yeah. Yeah. Ah, yes. Illig. Who oh, is it, Octavian? Oh, my God. Do you still have the ability to remove curses? Yeah. Can you help me out? Yeah, sure. Uh, and uh, Illig, uh, being uh, a token art that kind of looks like a mage, <laughs> I have bestowed upon him one spell. <laughs> dispel curse. Uh. And he <laughs> removes the curse from our friend um, Octavian. Octavian, thank you. Uh, and something happens. He dies. Oh, no, I'm rip. Just, no, I'm just trolling. Uh, Toadstool Patch, oh. where are you? Okay. So, um, as the curse breaks, uh, the, uh, the elven heart in his hand disappears, and a, a smaller heart appears in its place. Uh, it was a goat's heart. Oh. Uh, actually, sorry. It appears at his feet as a desiccated lump of tissue, so it no longer looks like a heart. Um, oh. But it does look like it was a heart, maybe. Um, once the curse is broken, uh, Octavian, our resident sad boy, is sad no longer. He uh, is overcome with positive emotion, smiles and jumps up in the air, taps his heels together, and screams in joy. Cringe. <laughs> thank you, thank you, thank you all so much. Oh, it feels so much better now. Oh, thank goodness. And Illig, my friend. Yes. <laughs> thank you for helping too. Yeah, anytime. <laughs> um, to, to my saviors, uh, I give this. Uh, he holds out his pipes. If anybody would like them. Oh. Well, I would. They are a magic item. Oh, yeah. Uh, what is it? It is the Pipes of Haunting. Mm. You must be proficient with wind instruments to use these pipes. 
<clears throat> they have three charges. You can use an action to play them and expend one charge to create an eerie spellbinding tune. Each creature within 30 feet of you that hears you play must succeed on a saving throw or become frightened of you for one minute. Ooh. If you wish, all characters in the area that are hostile towards you automatically succeed on the saving throw. Um, a creature that fails the saving throw can repeat it at the end of each of its turns, ending the effect on itself on a success. A creature that succeeds on the sa saving throw is immune to the effect for 24 hours. And you regain charge. You regain one d three charges at dawn. If you have proficiency with a with a given musical instrument, you can add your proficiency bonus to any ability checks you make to play in music with the instrument. A bard can use a musical instrument as a spellcasting focus. Blah blah blah. Um, can you play wind instruments? I think I have proficiency in pan flute. Ah, nice. Look at you. I think see. I would have put it on there. Mm -hmm. It would be home, I believe. You do have proficiency in the pan flute. I will allow that. I believe that is uh, that is in the cards for you. Yeah, tool Ooh. proficiencies, pan flute, uh, musical instrument, uh, blah 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 blah. That's a wind instrument in my book. Mm -hmm. Uh huh. You can have the pipes of hunting. I will just send you the. I will send you the thing. Um, just remind me to add it to your character sheet. Okay. But that is the pipe of hunting. There you go. Very good. Yeah. Pog, pog, pog. Pog, pog, pog. Um, um. Unless you guys have anything for him, he's gonna uh, run off uh, to go be happy somewhere. <laughs> no, that's good. He gives you all a big hug uh, before he leaves. I use my force breath. No, I'm kidding. Oh my god. <laughs> we destroy him. I'm going to kick the tissue into the water. <laughs> okay. Uh, uh, yeah. Hi, Octavian. All right. Um, um, now to you... the guy with the head. Yeah, Clutter I top. have the sag skull. Sag it up. Oh, where um, is he? He was... he was by the heads, so to yeah. the left. I see it. Well, I guess we have to see if he's still at the heads. Yeah, sure. he kind of wanders. Sure, why not? <laughs> no, wait, no. He's going to be in the palace. Because okay. I don't want to cool. roleplay the heads. Let's go. <laughs> 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 Dude. Like, inside the palace? Where do you want us to be? He is right outside the palace. Sitting on this tree branch. Guys? Oh, there That's we go. Cool. I see him. Yeah, yeah. It keeps moving me. I'm sorry. Am I fucking with some shit? No. Okay, there we go. I got it. Why is there a chicken on his head? <laughs> Chip, you didn't want to say anything to Illig about, you know... <laughs> Uh, I figured it would be not the right time, so maybe after we talked to Clapper Claw, it, <laughs> it seemed to disrupt the whole joyous occasion of Bad Boy's redemption arc. Yeah, I feel that might make Bad Boy sad again. Um, oh, hello there, friends. Clapper Claw calls from up, sitting in the tree. Clapper Claw! How's it going? We have something for you, sir. He turns towards your direction. He has no eyes, therefore he cannot look at you. This is odd. Okay, All boy. right. <laughs> we have uh, we have something that someone took from you. Someone who no longer has a head. You'll be one of the first to know that. <clears throat> uh, and I. Did you get my head? Out... He jumps down. I pull out the stash skull and I say, yes, indeed, we did. Ooh, gimme. He just yes, knocks indeed. his old head off and grabs <laughs> his stag head and puts it on. Ah, oh, oh, very good, very good. We like this. <laughs> this is much uh, better than before. I'm, I'm glad you enjoy it, sir. Uh, with, with this, what, question, sir, what, what make this head so special? I mean, just look at it. 
<laughs> it's glorious. <laughs> kids, sir, kids. Uh, so, uh, we are headed to, and then Daltrith, like, leans over and asks the group, where are we going again? Hither? Hither? Thither? Where are we going? Thither. Alright, we're going there. We need a, uh, we need a guide. Sir, would you like to be our guide? Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah, I can do that for sure. Awesome. You, guys, you guys ready to go now? I would like to talk to the king before we go, but okay. well, great because we're we. I got to prep a balloon. It's gonna be yeah. You guys go ahead. I'll meet you guys back over by the balloon factory when you're ready. Thanks again. Okay. Really appreciate it. You guys are awesome. Cool. And then he died. No. <laughs> and we never saw him again. No. He's gonna go prep you guys a balloon. Okay. Cool. cool. Let's go see the king. King, the I'm king. the king. I'm the king. I'm the king. Hey, bud. Uh, I have some news that may interest you. Yes, you may speak to me. Thank you. Uh, we have uh, relieved you of your uh, which issue, uh, and I kind of take Bavlorna's head out of my bag and hold it before me. You have what? Oh, 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 god, uh, oh, god. And I give him a thumbs up. <laughs> well, mm, we kind of did good business with her. Uh, so that's a little of setting but she was kind of weird wait does that mean i can have her house yes yeah go for it man yep new palace your... new palace new palace in exchange for one item huh <laughs> i would like your crown but not your like throne or anything i just want a cool hat mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. <laughs> this i cannot do the crown uh, the, the flower crown of the bully Wogs is sacred and the, only the king may wear it but how about oh yes continue, oh, continue. <laughs> oh. no you go ahead okay yes because i'm the king <laughs> yes of course <laughs> Um, I don't know. I don't got anything for you, bro. But um, I can figure something to give you. I, I will... will trade you this head that you can wear as a crown. Oh my god. <laughs> no, I do not want that. <laughs> okay, well, well it was I worth think... a shot. Well, I don't really like that Beth Lorne is dead, but I do like that I will get her house. Yeah, so, go for it. If you're giving me the house in exchange, I'll give you this house. Perfect. Sticking Ooh. up everyone. You may Thanks. have you may have the the sinking palace as your legal residence. Oh my god. <laughs> <laughs> I write that on my Aww. inventory. <laughs> you don't Do have you it in your inventory. Uh, Do you have the deed to the house? The deed? No. We just I can I can write on a piece of parchment that is yours. No, that'd be good. Great. I just Wait, I'll know yeah. in my heart. Hold up, hold up. Uh, oh, you're, the, the real estate, come on, Chip. All right, all right. You, you guys can have plane the real estate. <laughs> <laughs> Listen, I didn't have much growing up. I was in the woods having a palace. <laughs> That's dope as shit. Uh, thank you. Uh -huh. You are very gracious, uh, a very wise and gracious king. Yes, yes, indeed. Uh, um, but given that this is no longer the king's residence, we cannot call it the Sunken Palace. You must think of a new name for uh, for your house. 
Sunken Fortress. I like that. I like that a lot. <laughs> what means Sunken Fortress? Um, Daldred, even though she's not in the room, she she is, she is. I just am cutting things. Um, wants to lean into the king's ear and just be like, in the foreigner's house? <laughs> um, there's, she was a witch. Watch out for some tricky things and be careful of mirrors. No witch can outwit me. King Illig the first. Oh my god. Yes, this is very true. You are the greatest. You have fun in there. Well, I Daldry. will. <laughs> Daldry. All right. Daldry turns around to the camera that isn't there and rolls her eyes. <laughs> uh, along right, with let's... the house, you'll have... Um, periodically, uh, he'll send a servant or two to make sure the house is... Um, or I guess if you want, he'll send a servant to, like, upkeep the house on your behalf. Yeah. Uh, yeah. That's cool. Thank I you. I love that. That's so Thank cool. you, King. Also, not house, fortress. <laughs> okay, then. Well, I best get my stuff and get to outfitting my new palace. Yeah, go, go enjoy. He gathers his courts and tells them the, the new plan, and they all... Uh, uh, they all decide to take a first pass at, like, just scouring the, the house to, um, to see how they're gonna lay it out. And they'll come back for their stuff later. Alright, mm -hmm. let's go oh, cool. to the balloon house. Yeah. Oh. Uh, if you don't see Clapacall, he's down by like the, the first like the damaged balloon you guys saw on, on when you guys showed up. Mm -hmm. Um, last time you were here, you saw that there was no balloon. Um. But uh, there is a balloon here now in its place. Uh, Clapacall found one, or what have you. There's one there now, and he is, um, he is, uh, walking around and making sure it's all good. You see, uh, when you guys show up. Ah, yes. Well, um, I did an initial inspection inside. It looks like we are good to go. Um, I'm just finishing our inspection outside to make sure there's no holes, and then we can get along to thither. Whenever you guys are ready. Do you know if thither is aquatic like this place is? Like, should we bring our raft? Uh, thither is we a have, fort. Is an enchanted forest. Okay, we cool. Have, we have the lily pad. We don't need a raft. Can we all yeah, fit on the lily pad? Lily pad. Uh, I'm gonna get you a lily pad PNG. Nice. Um, it will be a new token. You will have to move. Okay. Yeah, that's fair. Um, um, so it it is its. <clears throat> okay, so you, I will say you're not really able to transport it. Oh, I didn't take out the background. Gotta find a real PNG. Um, so you're not gonna be able to. <clears throat> transport it uh like an item you can't put it in a backpack it's pretty big um yeah. like it can hold multiple full-sized people um but you can sit on it and tell it what to do so kind of i would say your normal way of transporting the lily pad is going to be dex is going to sit on it and walk and walk it where you guys need to go and then like a mount like like a horse if you go inside somewhere, you'd probably leave it outside. Um, yeah. You don't have to worry about it up. being stolen like a bike, because it's a you need to attune to it to use it. Feed um, it sugar cubes. You don't need to do that. 
Tell it what a good horse it is. You don't need to do that either. But we can. <laughs> sure, bro. <laughs> so in this situation, am I just gonna follow the hot air balloon with my lily pad? You could. Um, though you would or likely my... be slower than it. Yeah, we can like hang it off the side. Yeah, you can you can bring it into the hot air balloon and it's fine. Yeah, yeah, yeah. There we go. Nice. Yeah. Here's your new token. <laughs> we got That's four person. Like... We got a four person campaign. <laughs> it's seven tokens to move. <laughs> <laughs> So I'm going to say it's probably like mid-afternoon, getting to late afternoon, probably around like 2 p.m. or so. Mm -hmm. Are you guys going to go with Clapperclaw over to Thither now? Yeah. I don't think we have anything else to do here. I, I we... would like to suggest that instead of going now, we all take a long rest. Well, can we take a long rest go. on the way there? How long is it to get to a... Uh, about how like, much time would it take uh, Clapper Claw to get to Thither? You really put me on the spot here, huh? Yeah. <laughs> Not my well, intention. Well, it also, like, very... Like, when we were traveling here, it varied. Because, like, we caught some, like, good waves. Mm -hmm. Maybe we'll catch some good winds, and it'll make us go faster. So I don't know if we're going to be guaranteed a time for rest. I mean, and... if we're in the air, we can't really be attacked, so we could always just continue sleeping until we're done, and then go terrorize the I new mean, place. We're I'd rather at... just be in a stationary place and rest. I, I think a rest would be a very, very good idea. Mm. Plus, we have a house. Yeah. A fortress of solitude. Woo! Oddly enough, I don't see a set time to get between places. <clears throat> Probably because it's up to the DM discretion, I would say. Usually this stuff they'll say like very specifically, like hmm. this isn't like a I mean it, it is had times for, like, for it had times for the other places in hither. So uh, no, though there was just dis there was just distances. Distance there was an approximal away. distance, and I then looked at the travel, like, basic travel time per mile. Mm -hmm. Let me just scour this one more time. I just think if we take a long rest at one spot, then we won't get surprised by anything, and we'll have all our spell slots. Exactly. So, <clears throat> we, got, we got some spell casters that need their spell slots. Yeah. I'm not one of them. Well, I mean, I don't need my spell slots because I didn't use them, but I know <sighs> you guys did. No, I only use one. I think it's just dex. I gotta use them all. It's a waste. I just know mm. that this flower isn't gonna last forever, is all. Mm. Yeah, I agree. Uh, yeah, I don't, I don't, uh, don't see a rule here. So, um, I'm gonna, I'm gonna say that it, it would, you would not be able to get a long rest, um, but it would be a couple hours of, of flight. No, I'm not. Do you guys get that? No, you're no. not. We're we're just thinking. I think. Yeah. Um, I mean, I'm still advocating for a long rest because it's only eight hours. Oh, that's right. We don't 
kind of a consensus, Joshua is just gonna say, I'm sleepy, and just lay down. <laughs> yeah, we can long rest now. That's fine. Um, what around what time did you say it was, Zach? I'm also gonna say you guys are already in the balloon. This is. I'm true. not. Okay, bye, Doctress. <laughs> <laughs> Do we want to like sleep in the balloon and then just go? Yeah, oh, I'm down with that. Okay. Oh, well, it'd be like... I'll be in the balloon, man. Okay. Because um, like, let's do. Cassie doesn't need a full rest, or Cassie doesn't. Cassie, you're like a an elf, right? I, yeah, I'm I'm a one of them four hour people. Yeah, so you can do four hours and then Clapperclaw probably doesn't need to sleep. Let's so, like, I also don't need to sleep. I have taken no damage or anything. Cool. <laughs> let's do this. So Clapperclaw lets you know um, he knows a place that he can drop the balloon down by that'll that he we can store the balloon at. Um, and he and uh, you guys can rest there. Uh, for the night when you get there if you want to rest um, it's not going to be four hours in the balloon um, it'll probably take two hours to get there and then if you guys want to the place where we the first place we touch down it'll be a safe place he knows a guy and um, cool. and if you guys want to rest you can rest there at that guy's place what? How's that sound? Sure. Sounds yeah. good. All right, everybody. You, um, Clapper Claw will use his Clapper Claws and uh, detach the mooring lines, keeping the balloon down. Um, it's not a normal hot air balloon. It's a swamp gas balloon. Oh. So the, uh, he uses the swamp gases to uh, fill the balloon to make you guys... Rise high above the swamp. From high above the swamp, you guys can see um, uh, a lot of the places you um, <clears throat> a lot of the places you um, have been underneath you. You see all of Downfall. You see Bevuna's house. Um, and Clapperclaw lets uh, gets the balloon to catch the wind, and you guys start heading eastward. As you guys head eastward, you guys pass pretty much right over Brigand's Tollway. Um, and in a distance, you can see the Slanty Tower and Telemy Hill um, peek through the mists and the fogs of the swamp as you guys um, continue to ride eastward out of Hither. As you reach the bounds of Hither, uh, you guys reach the, the mountains um, that kind of surround the the splintered part of this realm and you guys enter a deep and dense fog uh, Clapperclaw begins to maneuver the balloon um, very precisely and specifically uh, in between the uh, the ridges and peaks of a certain mountain um, you guys are in the fog for a decent amount of time but after not too long you guys come out of the fog, and on the other side, you've arrived in Thither. I'm going to bring you guys to another map. Ooh. Yay! Oh. Map time. Map time, map time. <laughs> map, 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 map. Give me a second, I'll get you guys a sharing link. Excuse me. <laughs> okay. 
gonna oh. remove the other pins. Cause we probably will Ooh. not need them pinned. Oh, excuse me. Are you got, uh, do you guys see the thither map? Yeah. yeah. So you guys arrive out of the mountains in the fog uh, on the left side of this map. Mm. Um, as you guys, uh, the mists part to reveal a primeval forest, a fragrant, a fragrant breeze. Oh wait, I've, I've, I've music, new music, new music, new music, new music, new music. <laughs> everybody, calm their tits. We got new music, everybody. <laughs> There we go. What is this old music? It's cringe. Cringe. Get, get cringe, cringe. Old music out of here. Where are we on this map? We're like over. Oh god. Over That's here. Miles. Oh my goodness. Yeah, this Thank is. You. That's like four should... miles big. You're a giant. I'm a big boy. Oh, there I go. Wait, what? Did, what happened? Where'd you go? I don't know. I disappeared. What, what? I didn't. I mean, I did something, but I didn't try to delete anything. But did you put a token on the map or something? Yeah. Oh. I just copied my my, my face. And you know what? It's probably because it's not locked. Uh, that would make sense. Got there you go. Not locking again. Lock. And we are like okay, over right, here. Unlock. Correct. Um, we're not gonna put tokens on this map. This is mostly just so you guys can see the. I have another map. <laughs> No. Don't try to please. eat it. Because you were feeding it to her. Look, oh. Bubber. Bubber. Uh, so she was looking at you. Let me know when you guys are ready. Hunky. Ready. So ready. If you look in the uh, bottom left corner of the map, you see an arrow I drew. Bottom yeah. Left. Yes. yes. It is. Where the compass oh. is. Yeah, so okay. you guys are coming. You guys are following the arrow. Cool. Um, the mists part to reveal a primeval forest. A fragrant breeze wafts between the enormous trees, sending motes of pollen dancing into the air. Patches of sunlight kiss the forest floor, and the sweet melody of bird song echoes all around. Um, after not too much longer in the air, uh, I guess I'll, I'm going to give you guys a little bit of info. So from the air, you see a couple things. Um, that are readily available on this map. Uh, you see um, some extremely large trees to the north. You see um, uh, you see obviously that there's a forest scattered with uh, you know mountains and hills and plains and rocks mostly um, throughout the forest. But dotted amongst the forest, as you guys are descending, you see clearings that appear to have colorful mushrooms in them. And that's all that you get before the balloon um, descends through uh, into a clearing of its own and you guys arrive in Thither. Upon arriving in Thither, you guys have reached level four. Oh. Yay! We solved your puzzle. So, um... On touchdown, you guys are in a just a clearing in the forest. Uh, Clapperclaw is going to um, hop out of the balloon and tie some mooring lines to keep the balloon down. Um, uh, the balloon itself is still inflated. Uh, as if he lets the balloon completely deflate, he might not be able to get it back to Hither. Mm. Um, so he's going to have to tie it down. Um, well, uh, you guys have done me a great service in getting my head back. Um, there's not much else for me to do back in Hither, um, but you guys seem to be t some pretty good adventurers. I'm not much of a fighter, but I'm happy to guide you guys back to Hither if you need so. Um, uh, my com- uh, my, maybe not my companion. Uh, someone I know uh, lives in a cave up here ahead. Uh, I believe he'll be of great service to you all. Uh, and you could rest in his cave if you'd like. Um, it's just up ahead here. 
Uh, shall I show you the way? Yeah. Please. If you don't mind. It would be my pleasure. Um, so, he, uh, Clapperclaw is going to act as a, like a video game travel point for you guys. So, uh -huh. he will stay, he, uh, it doesn't really say what he's supposed to do in the book, um, but him as a character doesn't seem to have too many wants or needs now that he's gotten his head back. Um, so he doesn't really have too much of a desire, too much of a, you know, a desire or a want to go back to Hither. Uh, mm -hmm. So what's going to happen is he's going to stay here in Thither. And if you guys ever want to go back to Hither, you can use him as a guide. Um, mm -hmm. But he will have let you guys know on the travel, he can only move between Hither and Thither. He does not know how to get... Um, anywhere else in Prismere. Cool. Does he know a guy? Uh, he does not know a guy, <laughs> unfortunately. Um, thank you for coming to the Thither map. I just wanted you guys to see it. Um, yeah. But I have actually prepared another new map. So... <laughs> yes. uh, I will get you guys that shortly. Oh, I forgot to unhide the map on stream. Oops. <laughs> Here, for a stream and recording. Where did Thither go? It's a Thither. It's a forest. Ooh, very good. Very fun. Ah. Yes. Ah, ooh, ah, very nice. Very ooh, fun. Very nice. <laughs> it is forest. Very nice. Okay, now to hide it again. And the only reason I'm hiding it is because the... Actually, you know what? Is the sharing link... It, the sharing link used to pop up. <laughs> like, the link would pop up. So if you were... You could just copy the link. Oh. <laughs> you could just like write down the link. Uh, oh, now yeah. there's just a copy link button, so I actually don't need to do that anymore. Cool. Very good. Uh, choose the background color to not hurt my eyes. Um, and friends, here is the next new map. Oh. Oh. oh my. Wondering where it was. Oh, I don't like that. <laughs> uh, it's a it's just, it's just a, it's a cave. I've just covered up the the what's inside the cave to not spoil a cool a cool thing. I got my binoculars. I'm not scared. <laughs> That's a song. Yes, yes, no, I know it is. <laughs> As a pre-K teacher, it's my obligation to know the bear hunt. Also, it's the same as the lion hunt. <laughs> <laughs> ah, yes, right up here. Just ahead. Ah, yes. Uh, do you guys want to throw tokens onto map? Uh, how am I going to do that? Yeah, I'm grabbing something to drink, but yes, I will... Throw my token on the map after I get my glass of water. I oh, promise. I can throw token. I mean, uh, I can throw your guys' tokens on the map. That'd be great. I can do mine. I can do mine. Uh, and more... Snoodle. I have Snoodle too. I also Snoodle. need to grab. And Downfall. Uh, I, I can. I have your PNG here. Oh, nice PNG. It would be nice if you just. Uh, I believe I've sent it to you, Jose, in DM. Yeah. Yeah, if yeah, you yeah, just yeah. save that on your local desktop or save it to a folder on your computer so you can pull it out if you need to. Um, are these five foot squares or 10 foot squares? These are five foot squares. Take up the whole thing. Oh Yay. yeah. I believe this is you, Jose. Makes up okay, up. okay so cool. Much. Put Fred in, because I don't. I actually, I don't think I have Fred. Wow. Let me. Uh, wait, Fred. Hold on. I'm gonna see if uh -huh. I can. If I could copy Fred from here, but I can't. Guys, come on, please. Make the animal small. Okay. I can, snoodles in the way. <laughs> I'm trying. Uh, and uh, here's your lily pad, bro. Thanks, bro. Hey, stop touching my eyes. Okay, I'm back. I can put my 
Eldred on the board. There we go. Oh. Image. Oop. That wasn't it. Give me two seconds. I will get it. Um. There you go. Okay. Oh, jeez. Oh, yes, just, just up ahead here. Uh, in this cave. You guys ready to... Yeah. Yeah, sure thing, Clapper Claw. Hey, hey, Nib. Hey, Nib, are you there? Uh, yeah, yeah, come, come on in. <laughs> uh, Clapper Claw will enter inside. I'll give you, uh, uh, when the characters happen upon the cave, uh, cozy torchlight radiates from a cave in the wooded hillside. Twenty feet from the cave is a tree with a withered sheet of parchment nailed to its trunk. Hmm. Um, Clapper Claw will then go inside. Uh, this is an opportunity for you guys to go look at that sheet of parchment, if you would like to. Yeah, yeah. I'll look. Cool. So, as you get up to the parchment, I need to roll something real quick. Mm -hmm. uh, as you get up to a dollar grid, it is a wanted poster. Oh. Um... Wanted a poster, it says, this, sorry, it has a picture of a, a portrait of a boy drawn in ink. Um, it says, this, sorry, it says, wanted, Will of the Feywild. The picture of Will of the Feywild. This, sorry, wretch has stolen from me. Deliver him to me alive and unharmed, and I'll give you back ten years of your youth. Oh. Uh, I believe it is... It doesn't say so, but I believe it's signed Granny Nightshade. <clears throat> I forgot one more thing. I apologize, everybody. Chip, as you entered thither, you f you feel like uh, your lost thing is closer than it has ever been since it's been lost. Ooh. Yeah, cause um, Gabbit Slayer is here. Gabbit Slayer. Skeleton Nightshade. Okay. That was close. Back to what we were doing. <laughs> Uh, you guys found the wanted poster. Um, are you going to take it or leave it on the tree? I mean, might as well take it. Uh, Daldred, I believe you looked at it. I did. <clears throat> uh, unless Chip looked at it. Who who wanted to look at the wanted poster? I did. Okay. Dex, do you want to take it or leave it on the tree? Yeah. Cool. Put cool. wanted poster one in your inventory. Oh, oh no, there's more than one? Ugh. I did poster number one. How heavy is it? It's a piece of paper, bro. What? No, how much that weighs? Zero. Somebody must have had a party on our street. Why? Is there? It, there have been like two trucks turn around in our driveway. Yeah, well, what are you gonna do? Nothing, I guess. Let them do it. Okay. Hope they don't ruin the grass. Back mm. to the cave. Are you guys going to walk inside the cave? Mm -hmm. I have already followed Clapperclaw. I am you. Cat's Eye is used to following whoever's in front of him. So. Are you guys walking <laughs> with Cat's Eye? Yeah. Yeah. Okay. I will reveal. Nice. Ooh. See, that's why I wanted to hide it. It's a dragon's lair. No. Uh, as you walk inside, um, inside the cave, a wizened old man wearing a blindfold sits at a spinning wheel surrounded by piles of gold. As he spins, he reaches down and grasps hands full of coins, which transform at his touch into gleaming gold fibers. 
Rumpelstiltskin. Rumpelstiltskin. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> hey, Nib. Uh, brought some friends from hither. Uh, mind if uh, I let them? Uh, mind if we come in and uh, they might want uh, you know, want something from you. I yes. Uh, that that's 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 fine. Thank you. Uh, clap a claw. Clapperclaw will just sit down here to the side and uh, have fun touching his head. This is Nib. He makes things with gold. Nib? Yeah, Nib. 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 All right. Hello. Uh, uh. How much would a crown cost for you to make one out of gold to fit a rabbit such as myself? Rabbit or a herring? That yes, this one. This guy <laughs> right here. He this has a, one. He has a blindfold on. Oh, uh -huh. I didn't realize that. <laughs> uh herringen. Um Well uh, I'll happily make you all something at uh, no cost, just need to use the gold here. Uh, Nib will tell you his story. Yeah. I've led a cruel and heartless existence. I earned these riches by exploiting my tenant's misery, buying up condemned property and renting it out for an exorbitant fee. Lady Nightshade is helping me make amends. I told her I wanted to put my bad deeds behind me and my ill-gotten gains to good use. She cursed me to dwell forever in this cave spinning my gold into useful items for anyone who comes my way. Oh, I guess that's not considered useful. I mean, I'll make whatever you want. <laughs> Everybody gets one. What about bread and snoodle? God, booms down from... <laughs> <laughs> Fuck no! Uh. <laughs> um, would you like to be free of this curse or are you vibing here I'm I'm fine with he uh, did you hear the story he he wanted to do this he wanted he to fine. make amends but yeah. he's not enjoying it from what he said he's vibing Okay. Um, to an extent, I believe. Uh, yeah, no, he wants... This is adequate for him. Okay. He's not looking for anything. He's not looking to help end the curse. He just wants to... He just wants to use all of his gold up. Mm. Making useful items for people. Uh, he offers to craft a gift for each character. Um, he takes up a pair of knitting needles. Um, and he picks up a handful of gold to to work his magical gold uh, yarn. Um, you all heard the stipulations before. It can be a mundane item, if you'd like, up to a thousand gold pieces. Or... Um, a magical item that's common or uncommon. He has uh, a gold spun gifts table that I can just roll on if you would like something random. <laughs> they are all relatively useful things. Uh, let's put that. Let, let's let me say they are all useful things. Um, mm -hmm. But they're not tuned to everybody. Some of them are a little bit more specific and might not be as useful for one character versus another. Mm. <clears throat> Can everybody... Uh, well, does anybody want to start? Does anybody want to request a gift of Nib? Uh, 
I will. I would like the Cloak of Protection. That's in his list. He knows how to make that for sure. I have this uh, thing saved. Um, you can add it to your character sheet. I'm so obsessed. Um, as Nib begin, uh, you ask for a cloak of protection. Nib nods his head, reaches down, and begins to knit. Um, it'll take him a little bit of time to make all your guys' items. Okay. Um, I'm gonna say that it's just it's gonna take. Um, an hour per person. Um, so if you guys would like to start taking your rest here, you're going to have to burn four hours here anyway. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. Um, uh, as he begins to make your cloak of protection, you see that it's coming out uh, laced in gold. So it'll be cool. It'll be a cool Pretty. cloak of protection. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> Um, anybody else have a item for Nib? I'm thinking. Same. There's too many options. Yep. <laughs> Max. I'll just get a plus one wand of the war mage. Well, I list. believe it'll just be a normal wand of the war mage. Yes. The common or uncommon? Oh, it is a plus one wand of the war mage. I'm sorry. Yeah. Or, uh, there's also uncommon. a plus two wand of the war mage. Yeah, that one's rare. Yep. Um, it is uncommon. That is within his ability to make. Perfect. Should I just put that in my inventory then? Replace the U wand? Uh, so your U wand is your spell casting focus. Okay. Um, I'm going to say you could give him your U wand and ask him to uh, imbue it with magic to be a wand of the war mage. Alright, can I do that? Sure. It's still going to be a wooden wand, but it'll have some gold and magic in it, and I think that's fine. I think you can oh. use a, as long as it, it's wooden, but it has some gold in it. I think that's fair for a druid, Nancy. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Yeah, yeah. Okay. I like it. I'm just gonna put it in parentheses underneath it then. Yep. There we go. I'll start resting with breath. I should start writing some stuff down. I actually need to give you guys things. Um, <laughs> where am I going to put this? I guess I'll put it... You no, know, that's what this page is. Um, um, I gave somebody something. I gave some... I know I gave I... Nancy the stone, but that's 24 hours, so I don't need to write that down. Right. Chip got something, didn't Chip? I got the pipes of haunting. You got the pipes of haunting. Um, Tip, you also get cloak of protection. I will update your guys' character sheets with your things um, before next session. Um, Josie, oh no, you're not Josie. You're Dex. <laughs> Plus one wand of the war mage. Um, yeah. The rest of you? Um, I think, I think I'm gonna get, um, the medallion of thought. Medallion of Thought? Yeah. The medallion has three charges. While wearing it, you can use an action and expend one charge to cast the Detect Thought spell. Uh, 
and it regains 1d3 expended charges daily at dawn. Um, I was thinking it would go well with my psionic mind, because, like, I can speak into somebody else's mind, and then I can read their mind. So they can respond sure, right. silently to me. Yeah, you want a medallion of thoughts? I think, yeah, I think that's what I want to get. Okay. Sounds good to me. Woohoo! Cat's eye. Last but not least. The Cloak of Elven Kind. Cloak Ooh. of Elven Kind. He normally makes boots of Elven Kind. Ah. Would you like some boots? Uh. What's the difference? <laughs> Uh, the boots, sorry, the cloak um, makes w perception checks to see me have disadvantage, and I have advantage on stealth checks to hide. Okay. Mm. What's the boots? Are you wearing the boots? Your steps make... Oh, it turns you into an elf. Yeah. Your steps make no sound, regardless of the surface. Mm -hmm. uh, you also have advantage on dex checks that rely on moving silently. Is the cloak just better? Is it some Tasha thing? Just, no, the cloak is um, DMG. basic. It's basic rules. Yeah. yeah. Nice. Oh well, I guess it is. So the cloak is only advantage on stealth checks to hide. Uh huh. Where the boots, I think, are advantage on stealth checks. Period. Mm, I would next. say that's the difference like moving stealthily and hiding yes mm -hmm. you have advantage on stealth checks that rely on moving silently so the boots would help you sneak in into somewhere where the cloak would help you hide in the woods makes sense yep uh, you still want the cloak though I would like the cloak yes very good you may have the cloak oh yay um yeah um, so I will sneaky, sneaky. <laughs> I will uh, put all of these on you're more than welcome to add them to your inventory I will likely be updating them just to nice. and I'll update your character sheets mm -hmm. um, uh, to include everything that you get so um, we are nearing the end here I just want to go over some level 4 stuff with you guys to make sure I have that down and then um, we're, I'm just going to call the session it's a little bit shorter, maybe. It was a good three hours, but um, yeah, yeah. But I think this is this is good for now. I think we're at a good place to start next time. Yeah. Um, but before we get there, I do want one more thing for you, from you guys. Uh, can I get everybody's passive passive perception scores? I think mine's just ten. Okay. Let me check real quick, but I'm pretty sure I don't have like anything. Give me, give me two seconds. Just hold those passing perception for me. Okay. Thank you. Okay. He ran away. <laughs> So more cord ball tomorrow? More cord ball tomorrow. <laughs> Hopefully this will be our last session of cord ball. <laughs> it won't be. Dang. I know it won't be. Because, okay, because it's still, it's round two. You guys, you guys have to, it's, it's like, watch, okay. You guys will be able to watch the last bit of the first round the first like round of fights then uh -huh. there'll be a break then there'll be Denson's team Denson's team with Kira fighting their round two and then both of your round twos uh, and then the finals so we yeah. have we have minimum two more sessions of core ball probably okay. three sessions but okay. I mean if if uh if it's a stomp, like 
the the first round was, mm -hmm. then we might get to the second match. But okay. I don't I don't expect to. Plus, this will like the time in between. Rather, okay. Like you guys are gonna have some time to role play, mm -hmm. talk to the other um, contestants, like the people who lost, because you, because some of them are from play, like from Harmony, which where you guys want to go. So. Mm -hmm. Okay. Cool. Yeah. Probably two more sessions of Cord Ball. Sorry. Probably three more sessions. It might be two sessions. We'll see how it goes. I'm just starting to forget. <laughs> <laughs> you know, yes. I'm starting to forget the rest of the campaign. It's cordball. All I know is cordball. <laughs> yep. Yep. Uh, Can I get those passive wisdom, uh, passive perceptions? Yeah. Do we get we we don't get a proficiency bonus at level four, do we? Let's just say what you have now. It's not a high. I have. Okay. Cool. Cat's eye has 15. X has 14. I also have 14. 10! Alright, everybody but Daldrin. Yay! Um, uh, Cat's are you inside the house? Yes. Sorry. Everybody yes. place themselves where they want to be in the house. So you guys have uh, arrived here at Nib's haunt. Or Nib, not Nib's haunt. Nib's cave. Um... Uh, you saw Clapperclaw just kind of sit down, um, and you guys talked to Nib, heard his story, gave him your requests for items, and then saw him start to make them. Um, as Nib works, everybody but Daldred notices, uh, one or, will notice as he works, an apparition that lurks behind him. Mm. Um, if you watch him for long enough, you'll see that the apparitions take different forms. Maybe a child, um, a, a, gaunt, a gaunt man in a uh, coachman's uniform. Um, maybe a, 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 a lady with a, a handkerchief and tears streaming down her face. But... Uh, Ghostly apparitions seem to um, appear and disappear around Nib as he works. Um, yeah. Hmm. Hey, bud, what's with those ghosts? Nib will say, I am haunted by my own words. As long as my ill-gotten gains were put to good use, my bad deeds would remain behind me. Oh. You are beholding the re the restless apparitions of those I hurt. They lurk behind my back, tormenting me with pokes at my ribs and whisperings in my ear. I can't bear to look at them in the eye, not after what I did to them. Oh. Hence, he points to the blindfold. Oh. As he returns back to his pile of gold. Um, as Throughout the time you guys are here, he's going to give you a few more inf a, a few more bits of information. He warns you okay. not to take any of the gold, or they'll be cursed like him. Mm -hmm. Any creature that any character that steals gold from Nib's cave is haunted by one d four apparitions, similar to those that haunt Nib. Right. But the uh, stuff he made is okay. Correct. That is perfectly fine. I he's had, he's had no complaints. Okay. Uh, what happens when you're haunted by an apparition? Right. Um, you do not know. Oh. I, there, I there, there, there is an in-game... There is something that will happen. There what are if, ramifications. What if you don't eat some? Nobody's going to eat some unless you want them to they're these are fake characters that have no will of their own crazy oh i'm not gonna risk it i think i think chip should risk it all i'm good okay well it's worth a shot okay next roll um and then we'll give you some more information because he has been to 
Granny Nightshade's lair. Oh, shit. Uh, he will give you a few pieces of information. Uh, well, one, uh, the Scabatha Nightshade is known as Granny Nightshade. Uh, okay. Her lair is Loom Lurch. Um, much like uh, Bavlorna lived in Downfall. Uh, the place where Granny Nightshade lives is Loom Lurch. Mm -hmm. uh, the other piece of information are Granny Nightshade has a key protruding from her back that indicates her mood by how fast it turns. When she's happy, the key turns quickly. When she's upset, the key turns slowly. If she loses her temper, the key stops completely. Many children toil away in Granny Nightshade's workshop, crafting oh. toys. Granny Nightshade delivers the creepiest toys to children on other worlds to fill their heads with nightmares, one assumes. The hag makes her deliveries on the back of a flying rocking horse. Granny Nightshade is obsessed with capturing Will of the Feywild, a boy who helped a handful of younger children escape from Loom Lurch. Will of the Feywild's motley group of rascals is known as the Getaway Gang. The gang is protected by a treant named Little Oak. Uh, he cannot, Nib cannot leave his cave due to the nature of the curse, but he can point the characters in the direction of Little Oak's favorite glade. That is the information Nib has for you. How do you spell that? G L A D E. <laughs> yeah, it, it's a it's a normal word. Glade. It's just uh, like a open uh, space in the forest. Okay. Yes. Um, any questions on the on that information? Or anything no. I need to repeat? If you didn't get it. Um, um I just want to confirm uh, the key. Uh, so the mood, it indicates her mood by how fast it spins. Fast is happy, slow is angry. It, when it's still, she's lost her temper. That is correct. Okay. More, and more Will, the other way around. When she loses her temper, the key stops. I don't know if that's important, but that's how it's worded. I said, so, okay, I'll just, I'll put stops. Um, also other question. Will of the Feywild basically Peter Pan, yes? That, I mean, he's Will of the Feywild, I don't know what to say. Has a band of misfits hangouts in a tree that protects them? Uh, yeah. I don't think Peter Pan has a tree that protects him. Uh, yes. It, their hideout is a tree. Their hideout <laughs> is a tree. Yes, there are definitely... Also, you were taken here by in a air balloon by a scarecrow. There are many... Uh, there are many, um... Parallels to and draw here. Crossovers. Yes, there are plenty of, of parallels to draw between other fantasy stories. Like Wizard Buzz. Um. <clears throat> uh, um, does she only keep, like, human kids? Like, what? Like, all kinds of kids? I assume. Um. Yeah, yeah, it's, it's, uh, Kids from the material plane. So, humans Aww. could be anybody. Guys, do a lot. Yeah. Um, Star. The Star. Star is the name yeah. of the boy. kid. Yeah. Um, is it a toy factory or a doll factory? Uh, it says toys. Okay. I just want to be, like, clear because you were saying about verbiage, so. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Um, I just want to go over. Uh, so that's the last thing I have for you guys for this session. Um, mm -hmm. We will start next session with you guys uh, finishing your long rest, um, uh, getting your gifts. I'll update those on the character sheet. Um, and you guys can set off into Thither however you would like. Um, before we end, I'd like to just do level four stuff. So, um, does anybody want to go first with level four stuff? I go last. <laughs> I can go first okay. since I went last for the gifts. I see. am going to take. 
ranger. Uh, a feat. So fourth level for ranger. He's Abilities starving. For improvement or feats. Okay, you're gonna take feet. What are you gonna take, my friend? Elven accuracy. Uh, cats. Hi. Elven accuracy. Ask her if she's hungry. Okay. Um, Let me see. I'm. Mm -hmm. Sorry. Thank you. And I will increase my charisma by one. Uh, increase your dexterity. In Man, that's so diverse. Wisdom or charisma yep. by one. Uh, whether you have advantage on an attack roll, the accuracy of elves is legendary, especially that of elf archers and spellcasters. You have uncanny aim with attacks that rely on precision rather than brute force. You gain the following benefits. Whenever you have advantage on an attack roll using dex, intel, wisdom, or charisma, you can re-roll one of the dice once. Very good. Yeah. Um, Oven accuracy, charisma plus one. Okay. Um, as a ranger, you have I'll martial take... versatility. Mm -hmm. I'm not going to change anything. But I will take Zephyr Strike as my third spell. Uh, you get a new spell too? I just didn't take it before because I was going to uh, wait until. That's correct. Yeah. Cool. And that's me. Uh, uh, do, do you want me to I read off what Zephyr, Zephyr Strike does? Do I need to add Zephyr Strike for you? Or you I'm adding it right now. Okay, I'll do the rest. Uh, okay, that's it. You don't want to. You're not going to take a new fighting style. Nah, I'm gonna I'm gonna keep my throne stuff. Cool. Um, who's next? And that's it for level four for you. Who's next? Um, I'll go. Daldred. What you got for me? Uh, I want uh the slasher feet. I think that's a very good idea. I think I think <laughs> it's the best choice. Um, but I'm not gonna increase my dex. I'm just gonna increase my strength. Strength plus one. Would that get you to plus two strength? Yeah, because my uh -huh. strength score right now is a thirteen, mm -hmm. so it should get me to plus two. Yep. Oh sure. yeah. Sweet. Slasher should <laughs> plus one. I believe that's it for slash. That's all I need for slasher. Yeah. Um, strength or dex plus one. Once per turn, when you hit a creature with an attack that deals slashing damage, you can reduce. Speed, it, you get you can debuff the target, and yeah. when you score a crit, you grievously wound it, uh, and it further and disadvantage. It'll the have disadvantage on all its attack rolls. Very good. Until my next turn, which is pretty great. Yeah, I'm excited about that. Um, um, the yeah. other thing is, I also get martial versatility, but I'm gonna keep what I have. Sounds good. I think you chose. You chose, uh, like, I chose Blessed, Blessed Warrior, Warrior yeah. with the two cantrips. So I'm gonna keep that. Sweet, nice. And then I think I think everything else is the same. I don't think I got anything else. You might get anything else should be automatic, um, but I think you're correct. Yeah, you might have gotten more spell slots, but it does not look like you do. Um, um, are you gonna change things, or do you want me to change things? I will update your character sheet. Okay. Um. Yeah. Uh, yeah. Please leave your ability scores. I will. I will do that. Because okay. I have other things to do in your character sheet. I'm just going to do them all at once. Make sure I hit everything. Um, who's next? Uh, Kim. Sorry. One thing. Uh, roll your HP as well. Oh yes. Oh. Um. What do I roll? Just one d10. Yeah. Okay. Cat's eye. Uh, what did you get? I got a five. Did you add it already? Yes, I did. Okay. Uh, already added HP. I got a nine. You got a what? I got a nine. Very good. Ooh. Yeah. Uh, once again, I'll add that for you. Okay. Not that you can't. Um, no, I don't remember where to put it, so. <laughs> yep. I will happily do that for you. Cool. Um, uh, Chip, are you ready? Yeah. Chip, what um, would you like? 
I would like the feet tough, so that will make me strong. You'll be a strong boy. Um, I will increase my hit points. Yeah, roll your HP for me. Uh, oh wait, tough. Your hit point maximum increases by amount equal to twice your level when you gain this feat. Whenever you gain a level thereafter, your hit point maximum increases by an additional two points. So you're so by getting tough, you're gonna gain plus eight HP. Yes. Um. And then when you get to level five, you'll get what you normally get plus two. Yes. Cool. Um, also, as a monk, you get a couple other things. You get slow fall. Um, you can use your reaction when you fall to reduce any falling damage you take by an amount equal to five times your monk level. So if you fall off of a mountain, you probably won't, you might not die. Not um, dying is pretty good. You also can have quickened healing. Um, and this will, this is one of those things that's going to, um, play well with, uh, something you got last level that you don't really have a trigger for. It's that key fueled attack. Mm -hmm. uh, the key fueled attack is if you spend a key point as your action, you can make an unarmed strike w or uh, attack with a monk weapon as a bonus action. Um, the only thing you can use key points on is attacking, which you can already use a key, uh, you know, you can already attack after you attack. Yeah. Um, but uh, quickened healing as an action you can spend two key points and roll a martial arts die and you regain hit points equal to the number roll plus your proficiency bonus so you can now with quickened healing and key fuel attack you could use your action to heal yourself and still punch someone for free nice uh, so Let's get that on the note sheet. Uh, Chip, you took tough feet. Uh, you also get slow fall and quickened healing. And your rolled HP was? Oh, I didn't roll it. Um, what dice is that? Dexty what does it say which chip. dice are? It's on your stats page. It's your base HP, basically. So it's a D8. Eight, yeah. Uh, four. Uh, I believe the minimum is five around these parts. So you may have five. Plus 5 HP for chip. Okay. Big finish, Dex. I'll Level 4. Uh, feet? Or ability score improvement? Uh, no, I'll go with feet. Elemental adept. Okay. And I'm guessing you're going to choose fire? I'm going to choose fire. Very good. <laughs> Um, do you get anything from me? You are a druid at 4th level. You get an extra 2nd level spell. That should automatically update. Um, you get an improvement to your wild shape. And, uh, oh, th this is actually of use to you. Um, so wild shape improvement. At 4th level, your wild shape improves as shown in the beast shapes table. I'll have to figure out that it, oh. At fourth level, you can use your wild shape to um, now the max challenge rating is one half instead of one fourth, um, and you can uh, the limitation for no swimming speed is is um, is lifted. Uh, a good example of what you can turn into now is a crocodile. Nice. Right. You could be a snoodle. <laughs> I can't shit. You can use Wild Shape. 
Oh, yeah. You can't use your natural shifting ability. That's right. That's why you became a druid, don't you remember? (laughs) Yeah. Uh, You took the elemental thing, versatility. Okay, cantrip versatility. Whenever you reach a level in this class that grants the ability score improvement, you can replace one cantrip you learned from this class's spellcasting feature with another cantrip from the druid spell list. So, oh, and at fourth level, you know a new cantrip. What's the, do I pick? Yes, you get, you can pick one more cantrip, and if you would like, you may replace one. Mm -hmm. I believe you wanted to replace one. Oh, but if I get to add one, then I don't need to replace. Correct. You can add one, and if you would like to replace, like, Control Flames, I know you don't want to replace Create Bonfire, but if you would like to replace Control Flames, you may. Uh, yeah, no, I'm, I'm, I'm good. I'm, you'll, uh, you'll keep Control Flames? Do you know what your other cantrip you would like is? Uh, yeah, hold on, let me recheck. Where's the cantrip? Where's your spell list? I believe it was Thorn Whip? That wasn't Thorn Whip. Oh. I think it was Magic Stone. It was Magic Stone. Uh-huh. Casting ability modifier. It's wisdom, right? Correct. It is. Uh, I think it's wisdom. Spell casting. Uh... Oh, my bonus is plus four. There we go. Yes, your wisdom modifier. Yes. Uh, is Magic Stone what you're taking? Yeah, I'll take Magic Stone. Oh, okay. Um, and can you roll your HP for me? I believe for you it's also an a, a D8. Yeah, it's a D8. Is a seven. Oh, good roll. Thank goodness. Okay. Um, that is it for today, ladies and gents. Thank you very much for playing with me. It was very good. Um, I will update you all's character sheets before the next session. Uh, but let's discuss yeah. next session. I'm just going to stop streaming. <laughs>